just wrapping up a, another study as I transfer from book to book. Uh, I found myself in Exodus 22, transferring all my notes, and I, I stumbled on this exchange, uh, exchanging the ministration of condemnation for the ministration of righteousness. Um, today I'm just kind of pound, pondering, taking aim at those who cause displeasure versus causing displeasure to take aim. Uh, a lot of people bring people low, they crush their lives just to see what might come out. But the ministration of righteousness is taking aim at those who are causing displeasure and saying, look, that's wrong. You got to turn that around. You can't do that. That's not right. The ministration of righteousness seeks to help the body ascend toward Christ and the ministration of condemnation causes dissension away from Christ. So just continuing to ponder that and uh, hopefully somehow the Lord will grant uh, the body a fresh view of reformation in the church so that we can start ascending toward Christ instead of continuously crushing one another just to see what needs to be fixed. Look, you can't judge somebody by crushing their life, God sees the iniquity that causes the displeasure and He will repay the evildoers. We don't want to be evildoers. The ministration of righteousness seeks to bring us to an understanding of Christ so that we can ascend as a body. You can't keep doing iniquity and expecting good to come from it because there's only condemnation that comes from doing evil. Amen? So praise the Lord. Uh, somehow there's going to be a positive reformation in the church at some point. They're going to grasp unitedly the estate of the Lord to serve God. And we're going to start ascending instead of constantly descending. See the world just falling apart nowadays, man. I pray it turns around. Praise the Lord. Let's have a good day.